Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. Listen, I've gotten a letter from Betsy in our Patreon class and in my Facebook groups, and she said, Patty Ann, I really need to use this logo, um, but I need to use it in my Cricut machine, and every time I take this SVG over to my Cricut machine to cut it, it comes in with a million little pieces. Well, you know how I tell you guys all the time you can use this software, Silhouette, to make really cool stuff for your Cricut machine or your Cameo. So I'm going to show Betsy one way that she could fix that so it doesn't happen again. Okay, the first thing that I would do is come to the trace tool that looks like a butterfly up on the upper right hand side. Click on that to open up the trace palette. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say select trace area, but I'm not going to just select it like we normally do. I'm going to come up here to the eyedropper and that says to trace by color. And that's what I want to, or how I want to start today's project, tracing by color. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper. Then I'm going to click on this little thing right here, this little rectangle, trace by color. Then you'll notice when I come over here, suddenly my, um, little uh, cursor has changed into something like a syringe or something, an eyedropper, I guess. So I'm going to select the black color. And it did a pretty good trace, but if you look really carefully, it's not that great because look at all that junk like that. So all I need to do is come over here to the tolerance right here and bump, bump the tolerance up, not too far. Okay, but I still have some crummy looking so let lines here or areas. So I'm going to go ahead and use this little arrows over here and just go up a little bit at a time. Okay, that's looking really, really good to me. Okay, went one too far. Go back. That looks terrific. Except for that, I wanted to trace all of the black. And if you'll notice, I didn't get the black in here or the black in here. But that's easy to do. All you have to do is come over here. Notice it says trace by color options. Right now it says a single area. I'm going to change it to all areas and then it's going to grab that same color, all of the areas in my image. So watch what happens to the black right here and here when I change it to all areas. Okay, that looks pretty good except for it looks a little bit junky again. So I might up the tolerance again a little bit till it looks better to my eye. So I'm trying to get rid of some of the little bit of noise, little junky pieces. Okay, that looks really good. I guess I'll just keep going until I get too far. Let's see, that looks terrific. Oh, I love in that, that looks great. So I'm just gonna say trace. And that traced out the black that I need. Let me scroll out just a little bit so you can see. And here is the black that I need, whoopsie, right here, here. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to black by coming up here to the upper left hand corner, change it to black, perfect. And I can actually go ahead and change the cut line to black as well. And that's super, that's exactly what I want. Okay, I'm going to finish or continue on with my tracing. I'm going to trace this now. This time I'm going to come to the trace tool again up on the upper right hand corner, click on that, and I'm just going to select the trace area like this. Because what I want to do is I want to get rid of that little white box that was around there. So I'm just going to say trace, and that's going to give me just this, which is what I want. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to change its color to red. like that. And then the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to right click on this piece and say bring it to the front and bring it over, bring it over here to the front. And we are almost done. If I come up here and put these together like that, that's perfect. Okay, this looks perfect, but there's a little problem that we have in that there's all this red that goes behind the black on the shirt and we really don't need it like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the black, gonna hold down my Alt key and drag another one over. <clears throat> gonna put this one over in place again, grab both of these 
center it. Then I'm going to select the black, hold down my shift key, select the red, and come over here to the panel that's called the Modify panel. Halfway down over here on the right, the Modify panel. Click on that. When it opens up, click on the word Subtract. And that got rid of the stuff that was behind the black. So now I'm going to group this all back together. And now I can bring my black right over top again. And then I can highlight both of these or grab both of them and then center that again. And it looks like we're done, but there's something else that needs to be done. And as I said, this is going to look perfect just like this if she puts it on a white shirt like that. However, if she's not going to put this on a white shirt, she may want to have um, a white piece behind this. So let's do show how to do that. All I would do is grab this and make a duplicate of it by holding down the Alt key on my keyboard and dragging one aside, or just simply right-clicking and saying Duplicate. Take the duplicate off, and then, it doesn't matter which one, take this one I guess, I would just go up here to Object, release the compound path, which makes all those little squares around everything. And I'm going to change the color to white. Okay, the squares are still all around everything. Then I'm going to right click and say Weld. And that what that did was make a perfect circle exactly the way I needed it to be. I'll change the color of the outline to like a light gray just so we can still see it. So I'll put, the, whoopsie, let me hit Control Z to put that back. Let me group these things together here. And then I'll bring this together with this, grab both, and center. Okay, there it is, looking really fabulous. And let's go see what it's going to look like now in Cricut Design Space. You're not going to believe how easy this is to do this, you guys. If you do not have this program for your Cricut machine, you're really missing out on a lot you can do. For Cameo, we could just use it just like this. We would just say send, and we would cut it probably by color or fill. I would uncheck everything. Then I would just cut the red first. Then cut the black, uncheck that, and cut the black. And the white I wouldn't need to do because I could pretend I'm putting it on a white shirt. Obviously, I wouldn't do cardstock if I was putting this on a shirt. It would be HTV or heat transfer vinyl. Okay, the very last thing you're going to want to do before you take this into Cricut Design Space and to make sure you're not going to get all those bazillion little cut files is this. You can come up here, hi highlight your image, then come up here and find this little paint palette and it'll say Select by Color. Click on that. Usually it comes in by line but you want to select by fill color. So what you're going to do is click on the first one and it's the red. That's going to select everything that's red in this image. Then I would like you to come up here to object and make a compound path. It's going to change the color maybe, but you can switch it right back to the color that you want there. So then I would go to the black, select all the black, and again just come up here to object make a compound path. Since that's not available, that must mean that that already is a compound path, so we don't need to worry about it. And the white should be as well, since that's just one piece. Make compound path is not available. So now what I would do again is grab everything, and I'd probably group it. Then I would go to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive, and I'm going to name this Betsy last because this is the last one and it should be the final one that works perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and say save it as an SVG because that's what we can use in Cricut. Say OK. Come over here, open up Cricut Design Space and go to Upload, Upload an Image, Browse, and we're going to look for Betsy Last. There it is. And there it comes in. Say Save. It's this one right here, so we'll insert it. And notice it comes in as three different pieces, just like that, perfectly. Right? Looks gorgeous. So let's go ahead and see if I didn't make it too big. Oh, let's make it and check it out. Here's the white rectangle or uh, circle that's going to cut out of vinyl if you need it. 
Here's the black, it's gonna come in perfectly. And then there's the red. So that's all that you have to do. Just remember, let me show you one where I did not. This is the one where I remembered to go ahead and make it all a compound path, right? Before I brought it over here. This is one where I did not, and check this out, the difference. And Betsy, this is probably what you got. Insert it. Here it comes in. Let's get rid of this one. Look at all the pieces that are making that one up now. Because I did not make it a compound path. And that is really troublesome for your machine. I wonder what happens when we say make it. Okay, the black is okay. The reds. Oh, look at this over here. And this here. It's all a mess. So that's definitely not what you want. So again, while you're over in silhouette, you need to remember to make everything a compound path and you can do it according to color by coming up here, click on this, come up here to the paint palette, it says select by color, and usually it will open up by line, but you don't want it to be selecting by line, you want it by fill color. So you're gonna grab all the red, that's gonna select every piece of red that's on here, I'll show you something. If I stick another little piece of red over here, let's change this color to red. That same red, there it is. And so now, if I come up here and say select by color, it's all, not only gonna select this, it's gonna select that red star because that's part of the same red color. So that's it. I hope this helps Betsy, let me know. I'd love to see a picture in our Facebook group of your completed project when it's done. Thanks again, you guys, for coming along on this journey with me. I hope you like my videos and if you do you give them a thumbs up and subscribe and please tell other people. If you don't have the Silhouette Business Edition for your Cricut machine I highly recommend you get it. I have a link for it down below. I have other links down below if you'd like or if you're in the market to purchase something you know use my links it just helps me keep going. Also our Facebook links are down there as well and Patreon. Hey if you're not a member of Patreon and you're learning to use the Silhouette Business Edition we have a class every single Saturday morning where we learn more and more and more about Silhouette Business Edition for your Cricut or your Cameo. Again, thanks you guys. Bye-bye.